Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Got a bit of a review today. As I'm just sort of sorting through my collection, I'm picking out items that I haven't done videos on in you know the last six to twelve months. Um, this is one I really wanted to look at because this is a this is a great one. Um, unfortunately, when I bought it, I, it, it was kind of just you know I unpacked it and then just sort of put it away. And I didn't really get to appreciate it. So being able to record a video and talk about this this display, this is of course the Navarro Cantina from. The Mandalorian does come with this Death Trooper, which is exclusive to the set. It is VC220. Um, does show other figures on the back there. There's Quill, there's Bib Fortuna, the Mithril, IG-11, Rebel Soldier, which was a re-release, uh, Bo-Katan and Lobot. All pretty decent figures, but yeah, this one is a re-release. The most recent one before this was the Rogue One version. Which I did keep because I, I just really like the Death Troopers. Uh, the only difference is this one came with the pauldron that the original, the original Black Series three and three quarter inch release came with, um, whereas this one's just the standard Death Trooper, um, which is fine. They both look cool. I don't know. I'm not sure which card I like better. I don't know. I'm sort of partial towards that orange with the flame. I think it looks really good. But yeah, I'll stick with the green just because it's part of the set and uh, helps decide which color I illuminate the background. That's why I've gone with a bit of a green a green glow in the back there. So yeah, we'll move that one to the back. So what you get here, much like some of the other diorama pieces uh, that have come out, such as the Tanny 4 hallway, uh, the indoor bunker, um, not so much that one. Uh, the Tanty probably hallway is probably the most, most like this one in, in that it's modular. You can get multiple sets and you can build up a little bit more of a of a room, I guess, um, multiple windows, multiple, multiple, multiple accessories, bars. Um, now just going through the, the accessories and stuff, I, I'm pretty sure this only came with two stools. Um, just cause I had them all in a bag, whether or not it came with three, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was just two. Um, but they're quite nice. So I thought we'd just take a look at the accessories to begin with that it comes with. And we'll talk about the, uh, the display set and then we'll uh we'll put a couple of characters in and sort of see how it looks so it's cool i like the sort of the bronze look to the metal nice bum cushion there so there's two of those and then we have these sort of drink stacks now this one's obviously been smashed in the uh gunfire i have i will explain what's going on there with the uh the blasted out window I mean, obviously a lot of people already have this set, but um, it's an older set, sir, but it checks out. So yeah, they're like drink fountains. There's a couple of extra ones. You can sort of separate them, pull them apart and mix them up any way you want. You can stack them up a little bit higher. Um, you know, there's multiple combinations for those. So that's kind of cool. It's little fluid containers. Uh, you get a Spotchka bottle, which is, this is the same one that comes with Fennec Shand. This one's a little, a little bit more of a paler blue, but still cool. That sort of spirits jug. And then you get these couple of little sets here. This one's obviously been shot and smashed. There's some holes in it. A couple of bottles and a glass. You know, they've had, they've been shot out through the window. So they're no, no longer holding any liquid. And then we have these full bottles, which looks really nice, actually. I, I really like that. I'll display these anyway, because, like, you know, when they're sitting there like that, you're not going to pick that they're smashed. Next part of it is we get the bar piece. This is kind of nice. I like, the, I like the look of this, the top. Sort of see sort of the mold in the side, the front. It feels very, very Star Wars to me. And then in the back, you know, you could, if you wanted to stash, you know, some of the stuff on the, behind the bar, depending on which scene you want to, you know, display primitively, you can do that. Not primitively, you know, that's not the word I was looking for. Primarily, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> you can display them primitively if you like. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I like the bar piece there. Um, and then what we get here is, you know, the big sort of arch window. Yeah, you know, that's where sort of Moff Gideon orders his death troopers to sort of shoot in at the end of season one. 
we do get a door doorway and a slight and a small arch and you know they're all modular they've got holes on the sides and pegs on the other side so you can put it in either side um, multiple combinations you can you can put it on the side there you can put it on the side there as to create like a second archway and you know you can get another set and put it along and just sort of build on it if you if you were to you know be able to find these in, on clearance or something and get a couple of them you could build up a pretty cool scene i think so we'll get a look at the door now the, the the thing that sort of bummed me out about this is with the tantive playset, the door was actually you know you could lift the door and you can open it. This one is just just a cardboard cardboard piece. You know it's a nice thick cardstock, so it's not going to go anywhere. And you know you can leave it there. You can take it out and leave the door open if you want to display figures coming in. But I don't know. It just didn't feel quite as cool as you know. A door that can slide open and you know you can have someone sort of barging through or what have you but again you know you can pop that on that side such you know it's not even properly you can see that but you know you get the idea there are multiple ways to to set this up and then we get the main the main piece the main window there's some light fittings hanging up there a little bit different to the uh, IG-88 heads <laughs> which were drink can can canisters in the New Hope that being said so you know how long before we see one of these as a droid head or something so yeah same sort of thing on the back here we have a swap out cardboard thing uh, you just flip the two latches up and what we've got here is sort of nice clean window dirty window dirty shot up smashed in window and it's just a matter of flipping them around and poking that little arm across you know they're probably going to wear out over time you know the cardboard as it always does you know i'm not going to be able to get that one across right this second it's just a little bit awkward for me but that's okay so yeah you get a look at that sort of as it is nice and clean put the bar in let's put the door back on this side it's easy to do it's just I'm making it look awkward because I'm behind the camera here <laughs> but yeah I kind of like that look and you have the bar you know you pick out pick out a certain character to be a bartender you can have some chest stools drink fountains you know what have you I'm just setting them up roughly you know like I said you can do it in any way you want you know we've got Mando Mando here you know displays nicely they'll you know get this sort of super populated here I've got the uh, incinerator trooper You know, with Grogu, this was a great, great two-pack there. Or oh, Deluxe. Deluxe. So, yeah, it's it's, it's nice. I like it. I'm look, looking forward to being able to display this uh, permanently in a shelving fixture once I get everything sort of set up here in the room um, and actually be able to, you know, have the Razor Crest sort of parked to one side, the Navarro Cantina. I will definitely look at getting a second one, I think. Just, I don't know, I feel like having another wall, another set, you know, broaden it out a little bit, fill it with some more characters. I reckon it'll look really cool. But yeah, pick a, get a droid for the uh, bartender. Let's see if he'll stand there. But anyway, I think it's cool. I'm, I'm glad I picked this one up. You know, it's it's probably been a good six months since I did pick it up and I'm glad I did though but it's nice to uh, see it out in the open sort of actually you know pay good attention to some of these parts and how it works it's really nice to sort of that's one thing I do love about doing doing reviews is it actually gets me gives me a bit of time to actually have a bit of hands-on experience with what I'm talking about and um, you know when it comes to displaying it I can sort of really appreciate all the all the small details and and all that kind of thing I think it's really really cool it definitely gives it a little bit more appreciation for the for the toys and the collectibles 
So again, if you want to grab this set, you can get the exclusive Death Trooper VC220. I think, you know, some more of these coming out on on regular cards would be, well, on vintage cards. It'd be great that Hasbro did do the uh, Death Trooper uh, sort of build up army builder pack, which is exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. So yeah, I couldn't get it down here. But you know, have able to set up a couple of Death Troopers behind it on the shelf, that'll look so cool. Um, I'm off Gideon, you have them all outside. And uh, yeah, you could definitely vary up the, 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 the way it's displayed. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, please. I appreciate your input and support. You guys are all fantastic. I don't know why I'm putting the flame there, honestly. Maybe this guy's cooking up some, cooking up some wedges or something in the back. It's just yeah, <laughs> who knows? All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate your time, and uh, we'll speak again soon. Until next time, may the force be with you always.